this one sees Coach Phantom Phoenix taking his 82 overall Houston Texans up to Indianapolis to take on Coach Michael Jordan, Twitch user Snag Up Kids, 78 overall Indianapolis Colts. This one, a battle between the two worst teams in the AFC South. The Colts are 0-3, the Texans 1-2. Let's see if we can keep the Colts out of the win column. Some of these players and their smiles remind me why I don't smile with my teeth showing. Like Matt Ryan over there. Looking like he came straight out of the DC universe. Apprentice to the Joker looking ass. If I win, I'm as good as the Texans. Not really. If you win, convincingly, you're as good as the Texans. But the Texans have only lost their two games by last minute in the end zone interceptions. So they could easily be 3-0 and right now. Those are the guys' mug shots. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. You saw Matt Ryan hook up with AJ Green last week on the top 10 plays of the week video. Let's see if they can get another one today. Uh, what free agent are you trying to sign, Adea? Like, do you have a someone in mind or a position in mind? Also, I think you have a full roster, so you have to cut somebody too. No matter what, I lost to the Browns. Yeah, the Browns lost to the Browns too. They're that bad. Here we go. User versus user. The only other user matchup for the week. A little disappointing, but uh, hopefully this one turns out to be a good game. Scheduling was not on our side in this week. Fortunately, we actually had both users show up for this one. Prescott out there, two touchdowns and six interceptions this season. It's about par for the course for the league. Prescott will lead the Colts offense out onto the field to start the first quarter. Here we go, Prescott in the gun, looking, throwing to Cameron Braid over the right. And he's hit, spins away, and is taken down by his face mask. It would have only been about a gain of two, but they're going to add 15 to it. The Texans, one of the most heavily penalized teams in the league, actually the most penalized team in the league coming into this week, uh, as far as the user teams go, was the Ravens. All right, here we go. First and 10 for the Colts. Who you guys got, Texans or Colts? Ajay spins, av avoiding one, unable to get anything, still ends up losing a yard. Watt with his second tackle of the game already. Second and 11. I refunded my home points. <laughs> no win, I need win so Dak Prescott's passes don't go out of bounds. <laughs> Oh, nice, Adair. So what do you guys think? One in the chat if you got the Texans. Two in the chat if you got the Colts. Prescott, handoff to Ajayi, stretch to the left. Tries to make a man miss. It's not going to happen, and he's going to lose a yard. Actually, no, sorry. He's going to gain a yard. It'll be third and ten. <laughs> Snag doubts his own team. Phoenix doubts his own team, but doesn't doubt him enough to lose to the Colts. 
Gotta go. All right, Ryan, take care. Thanks for the good news, and thanks for the five gifted subs, bud. Appreciate you. Prescott back to throw, rolling, looking, throws left. This one complete in an acrobatic catch on the sideline by Jordan Matthews. 22-yard reception, and that'll give the Colts first and 10 at the Texans' 35. I say three for a random airplane to fall onto the field mid-game, causing a tie. They're in a dome. Four wide receivers to the right, three bunch tight. Prescott, empty backfield. Hits his tight end, and it's another face mask penalty committed by the Texans. Sure, a plane can break through the roof oblivion. I mean, the roof is actually open right now. That's why there's sunlight on the field, but. Automatic first down. First and 10 for the Colts at the Texans 10, which means they can get a first down if they get inside the one yard line. We'll be carrying a South Dakota airport. Nani? Eye formation, handoff to Barber, who I'm not really sure what happened there. He came up to the line and then spun for no reason and got taken down. And we're going to lose 10 yards anyway because that's a holding uh, penalty on the Colts. And they're so okay. Now they've changed it to first and goal instead of first and 10. I was like, I don't see a first down marker anywhere. Barber in motion, swinging from right to left. He's going to be the receiver on this play. Not sure what he's doing. He's going to end up losing yards. He loses four there. The bubble screen is a completed pass, but... You, you saw it. He stood there. He spun around. He broke one tackle and then had no idea where to go. You see the people in the stands yelling, the other way, fool, run the other way. Prescott under center, second and goal from the 23. Delayed play fake. Looking left, it's caught. Is it out of bounds though? No word yet. Still no word. We, we get a look at the elite defensive line for the uh, Texans. Got one good linebacker in there and a good safety. And it was incomplete. I actually kind of thought he had it. Third and goal. Prescott looking left. This one complete to Matthews. He's going to pick up seven. And it'll bring up fourth and goal. The Texans defense comes up with a stop. And Indianapolis will attempt a field goal here from 33 yards out. Read your post before you send. <laughs> Meant to be uh, saying a South Dakota license plate, not a whole ass airport. Makes a little more sense. Not much, but a little. Here we go. To attempt the field goal. It's up. And it's good. Indianapolis takes the early 3-0 lead here in the Battle of the Have-Nots of the AFC South. Here's the kickoff. Houston trailing by three, fields this kick at their own three. Logan brings it out to the 25 where he's taken down. <laughs> Hashtag life lessons with Petrie. And Matt Ryan will take the field for the first time in week four. There you see his stats, two touchdowns, four interceptions. That could easily be four touchdowns, two interceptions but he's thrown game-ending interceptions to both the Patriots and the Titans. 
Ryan under center. This one a handoff to Dalvin Cook, who is stopped at the line of scrimmage on his stretch out to the right. A look at their uh, pretty solid uh, skill positions. Their offensive line leaves a little to be desired, though. Ryan in the gun, second and ten after the no gain. Delayed handoff to Cook. Cook going to pick up about seven or eight here. That'll be third and three. Want to know where babies come from? Everybody knows where babies come from, Petrie. Seahorses carry them in their beak, and then they're spit out and hatched by male penguins, where narwhals carry them with their horns to their intended mothers. This one, a handoff to Frank Gore to the right. He's going to pick up one yard, and not obviously not enough. Fourth and two, we'll see the Texans punt unit. Clearly come from the stalk, more like the stalkers. This one high, deep, and too far. Into the end zone it goes for Dixon, and that'll be a touchback. Prescott will bring the Colts back out onto the field with a three-point lead in his pocket. 51 seconds to go here in the first quarter. We've got two votes for the Texans to win this one, but who do you want to see win? Do you want to see the Colts pick up their first win, or would you rather see the Texans keep them winless? Prescott under center, three-step drop, looks to the right, and it's intercepted by the only good linebacker the Texans have. And just like that, Matt Ryan is going to come right back out onto the field with excellent starting position. Texans will have the ball at Indy's 23. That's the lesson of the week for you two. Hi, you two. <laughs> this week's uh, top 10 if we even get one because there's only been a few plays clipped and the, the only two plays I can immediately think of for the top 10 weren't even the ones clipped um, but the top 10 and the individual game uploads to YouTube uh, may take a while because we'll be casting games tonight and tomorrow. Ryan, a play fake, connects with A.J. Green down to the 10-yard line. Big first down completion for the uh, Texans. Um, and I'll, so after the rest of today and then tomorrow's stream, I work the next two nights. I get one night off, and then I work two more nights. And then it's league night again. So unless I can get it all done... Um, in my one night off, uh, I don't know. And Ryan throws an interception at the goal line. Malcolm Butler coming up with an interception for the Colts. And he's hit and taken down at the two yard line. Matty ice as cold as ice today so far. But can the defense force a safety and get us that 3-2 to two score that Roddy wanted so desperately earlier? High formation for the Colts and off to Bohannon, who's going to fall forward for four yards, and that's going to do it for the first quarter. Which team, Snag, yours or his? I don't know football, so I thought of safety was football. <laughs> Did you really? No, safety's two points. Wow, snag up kids out here talking trash. His team's 0-3, and, and he's saying the other team is garbage. Here comes the safety walking up on the blitz, the uh, strong safety rotating over. Ajay beats the safety, 
and he's going to have a big gain here, bouncing through the tackles. But there's a flag on the play. Is this holding? No, it's a block in the back. Bring it on back, ladies and gentlemen. We'll, we'll redo it. Second and five at the seven. We need to make our least valuable player a war. Here we go. Prescott under center. Ajay in the backfield. Three-step drop. Complete to the tight end. Cameron Bray. That's a good for a seven-yard gain and a first down. One of the worst teams in the league is trying to talk shit. Let's see if they can back it up. Ajay, a stretch play to the left, and no dice. Taken down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain. Second and ten with under five minutes to go here in the first half. <laughs> Rivers, easily. That's, that's true. I don't think there's any candidate that's worse than Rivers right now. No touchdowns, ten interceptions. Prescott looking to the right, settles for the middle, checks down to his tight end again. Cameron Brait is going to be another uh, reception richer. He's four catches, 32 yards here. Third and four after the gain of six. Prescott looking right. This one complete to Jarvis Landry for a first down, 13-yard pickup. Uh, not yet, Petrie. I did order them, though. They should be here in time for tonight's stream. Safety walking up on the blitz for the Texans. Brait in motion from right to left across the formation. Prescott. Oh, the safety blitz gets home. And that play fake goes nowhere. It's a loss of seven. I'll bring up second and 17. There's an award for the most trash talking coach. It's me. I'm going to be so upset if I'm still undefeated somehow by the time I play you, Snag. And then your shit team actually ends up beating me. I would be salty. Prescott under center. Two receivers to his left. Ajay stays in the block. He throws right to Jordan Matthews. And this one, good for about 12. They'll have third and five, third and four even. Can't believe Barnett isn't getting through. I know, right? Barnett's my boy, straight out of the University of Tennessee. Prescott, back to throw, looking, and it's intercepted by Dunbar. And Matthews looked like he was going to jump up and give him the bro kick, but uh, I guess he remembered that he didn't sign that WWE contract after all and settles for, you know, just, just giving him a knee to the chest as a, his way of taking him down. Quentin Dunbar with an athletic grab here. Yeah, one was next year's first rounder, and I was desperate to get a right outside linebacker. My right outside linebacker was literally uh, a six, uh, 70 overall, and he's an 82. Ryan hands this one off to Cook, who bounces off the initial tackle and carries forward for a few extra yards. This will be six, second and four. Uh, but yeah, Petrie. Kendricks was not my first target, but he's the only one that I could get the computer even remotely interested in. So I was like, well, shit. And then they wouldn't accept any, like, second or third round picks. So I was like, well, damn. I'm not giving them two first rounds from this year. So I had to give them next year's first round and my first rounder from this year. Coach Phoenix tells Matt Ryan he's got to redeem himself or he's getting benched from life. Ryan under center. Three receivers bunched to the right. Hits Miller on the drag, and Miller drops it. That'll be third and four for the Texans. Yeah, the computer is not fair with their trades. I'm just going to be honest with you. Anybody who's trying to trade the computer for something, you better offer way more than you think it's worth because it will reject you like 98% of the time. Ryan in the gun, 
Drops to throw. Looking. Throws over the middle. Complete to Delaney Walker, who trucks the first guy. Ends up being taken down by the laces. Excited and justifiably so on that one. That one good for 24 yards, and that'll bring the Texans to the Colts 22. Uh, there's sliders for certain things, but like for penalties and stuff like that. Here we go. One and a half minutes to go. Ryan looking, throwing left. And he hits the cheerleader with the lazy eye. Oh, no, I don't I don't think there's any sliders for that. There might be, but I've left everything at default. And we're going to get a false start on the Texans here. Back them up five. False start, offense. Ryan in the gun, looking right, throwing left, complete to Delaney Walker for a gain of one. Third and 15. Maybe Rivers is giving a shout out to each of his kids by throwing a pick for each one. Trying to signify he's throwing away. He's got like, does he really? I don't keep up with his personal life, like, at all. Four wide receivers for the Texans. Ryan in the gun, cooked to his right. Plenty of time. Throws to the right. This might be roughing the passer here. That's their only hope. Illegal touching. Nope. It's going to be illegal touching. Apparently, Mike Wallace was out of bounds, came back in, and was the first player to touch the ball, which is ironic because he was still out of bounds. But it doesn't matter. Accepted or declined, the result is the same. Fourth and 15, out comes the field goal unit. This one from 43. Dobbs to hold, the kick is up, and it splits the uprights. We are tied at three with 112 to go here in the first half. What even is that call's meaning? I literally just explained it. Like, literally, word for word, I explained the penalty. This one fielded by Barrios Cheerios. And he brings it out to the 25-yard line where Prescott will set up shop for the Colts offense. He had the play. He had to come back. The coach didn't think he had it. Coach is probably right. Prescott, not the brightest guy out there. Actually, he's pretty smart, but it's not the point. It might have been his coach. Maybe the coach wanted to change the play because his coach, eh, maybe not the smartest guy either. Prescott driving back to throw, looking to the right, complete to his tight end for the fifth reception today for Bray. And Indy's going to call a timeout after letting a couple extra seconds uh, tick off the clock. Second and one with 101 to go. Oh, you guys. Here we go. Texans have shifted their linebacker to the uh, weak side. Prescott. Looking over the middle, hits a Jai for the first down. That's a gain of six, and Indy calls their second timeout. With 57 seconds to go, the Colts are looking to put some more points on the board. Empty backfield, Prescott in the gun. Looking, throwing left. This one is incomplete. I thought it was going to be intercepted at first, just to be honest, and then it looked like it was going to be a, a reception but he dropped it as he came down to the ground.
I don't know if Goatman is still here. If he is, we'll do his game next. If he's not, then um, we'll see what happens afterwards. Four wide receivers for the Colts. A giant of Prescott's right in the backfield. A throw to the right, and it's intercepted by the Texans. There's Dunbar with his second pick of the game. Can he beat the quarterback? He can't. He's run out of bounds. But Ryan will get his shot at redemption again. Goatman is still here. Okay, cool. So, Goatman, are you still going to, unless something comes up, are you still going to be here after this uh, second half? That's Dunbar's second interception of the half. Not quite as impressive as his first, but still impressive nonetheless. You'll be here? All right, cool. I don't think anybody else is here that hasn't already had their game other than me, of course. Ryan looking to throw complete to Delaney Walker. Bounces out of two tackles. And he's going to pick up five yards. Houston calls their first time out. Yeah, the first was with Mosley. Can I play my game? I promise it'll be quick. All right, Petrie, fine. You can get your game in. Hell, I'll get your game in at halftime. Guys, just think how cool it would be if I had like a two or three PC set up. And I could actually have, like, multiple games going. And I could just, like, flip back and forth. Oh, no, Ryan throws the interception. And this one's going back the other way. Can Dalvin Cook get him? To the 30, the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Colts. Ryan. Well, he put some points on the board after all. Goat man, the joke is that Petrie's on bye week, so he's already played his game. <laughs> Snag calling the other team garbage again. Now I really want the Texans to win, because this 0-3 piece of trash coach is uh, out here trying to call the other team garbage. The extra point is up and it's good. And Indianapolis, thanks to the defense, or mostly thanks to Matt Ryan sucking the big blue balls, uh, takes a 10 to three lead. So Phoenix, how long before Ryan gets the boot? None of our quarterbacks are actually any good. Like, everybody has a quarterback who throws ridiculous amounts of interceptions. So, all we can rely on is our defenses to be amazing. Ryan coming back out onto the field with 25 seconds to go before halftime. Still two timeouts to go. Will they try anything? They actually don't have the worst QB in the league. Phillip Rivers gets that award. This is a handoff to Dalvin Cook, and he's going to lose three yards. And that's probably going to do it for us here in the first half. It's pretty bad. <laughs> I mean, Cam Newton has three touchdowns and three interceptions. At least he's still one-to-one -one for me, but... The vast majority of our quarterbacks have thrown more interceptions than touchdowns. And that's the buzzer. We're going into the locker room here in Indianapolis. Your score right now, Houston 3, Indianapolis 10. There you see the Texans are actually leading the takeaway battle, but they're not capitalizing on it. It does the mind, heart, body, and soul good to see the Lions whoop the Cowboys ass in this one. So 
So while we're waiting, what game do you guys want to see? Oh, never mind. Goatman is up next. So we'll do Goatman. And then we'll see where we're at after that. Because that'll be one, two, three, four, five, six. I have to get at least seven games in today, but I want to try and get nine. That way we can uh, have a shorter stream tomorrow so that I can have time to maybe work on some stuff. But we'll see. Hope the bears are still taking it to the bears. Hey, what's up, Red? How you doing, bud? Good morning. Hope you rested well. How's your knee doing? I just found out how to scan the CPU. Yes, tell us all. Matt Ryan, 4 of 8 for 42 yards and 2 interceptions with more points to the other team than his own. Here we go. Texans looking to come from behind again, a position they're quite familiar with. A handoff to Dalvin Cook. Oh, man. He's... It's like watching lightning in a bottle. Every time he gets that little gash, you think he's going to take off. Look at my stream. Kid, we're not looking at your damn stream. Empty backfield for Matt Ryan. Five wide receivers. Second and two after the gain of eight. Ryan throws left. And Wallace is going to come down with this one. But yeah, Red, what I was uh, saying last night in Zombie Stream is um, once I get my payout next, uh, you know, in the, what, middle of August, um, I'll probably be looking for more emotes. Depending on how much the payout is, I may also be looking uh, for sub badges since my other artist uh, disappeared, essentially. Play fake from Ryan. Looking. And, well, he had his tight end on the left sideline, but he drops it. It wouldn't have been much, maybe a yard or two. Do we think the Texans can come back and win this one? Here we go. Single back formation for the Texans. Two wide receivers at the top of your screen, one at the bottom. A handoff to Cook who goes between the left guard and left tackle. He's going to pick up three yards and that'll be third and eight. Well, the stock money only counts if it actually holds up. Let's, let's take a look and see how the stocks are doing today so far. The market's been open for a little over an hour. Four wide receivers, tight formation. Ryan looking left, hits Miller, complete to the Indianapolis 47. And today, so far, I'm down $95.33. So... Yeah, it doesn't count unless it actually holds up. All right, trips bunched tight to the right. Ryan. Five-step drop, rolling out to his left. He's going to get sacked because he's too stupid to throw the ball away. Dante Hightower coming up with this one. Big sack for the Colts. They're going to back the Texans up 11 more yards. You put two people the CPU needs that are scrubs, then one decent player, and you ask for it. Yeah, but that's not really that much of a scam, Snag. That's literally giving them three players for... and two of which that they actually need for one that's not even that great. It's not a scam, unless you count that as a scam against yourself. Ryan rolling to the right, under pressure, but he's actually going to get this one away and complete to Delaney Walker. 
Uh, not sure how long that was, but that'll bring up third and 11 at the 48. Yeah, I just found out earlier uh, today, maybe 30, 40 minutes ago. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Ryan was here, and he mentioned that the devs had done the callback listen, but I was like, I haven't heard anything, so I'm guessing the other guy got it. You know, how good was he? I kind of wanted to know, like, how far away I was. Uh, but he said BRB, and I knew he was going to check to see if he could even tell me anything. And he came back and was like, uh, actually, you got the part. I just got permission to tell you. So that was pretty cool. Ryan, complete for a gain of 11. This is going to bring up fourth and inches. Will the Texans go for it, or will they try the 54-yard field goal? And thank you, Adea, on the uh, congrats. Coach Phoenix saying, go for it, damn it. You got Dalvin Cook back there. The replay booth showing us all these looks, trying to give Coach Phoenix time to call up a play. They're not going to call up a play. They are going to go for the 54-yard field goal. It's blocked. The Colts block the field goal. And the Colts are going to take over at the Texans 43. All right, now I'm starting to agree with Snag Up Kids' assessment of the Texans. Texans need their defense to step up here. That's true, Red. I don't know if it's paid, but it's a, it's a good opportunity either way. So I'm excited for it. And it's one of the main characters, at least for right now. Ajay starts left, bounces right. Big hole. And he's going to take this one deep into Houston territory. First down, down to the 25-yard line. And the Colts are moving. Three receivers bunched out wide this time for Prescott. This one a handoff to Ajay up the middle. Fights forward for a gain of two. Relatively even except that big play gave Indy the advantage in the yards category. Second and eight ball at the 23 yard line. Just over a minute to play in the third quarter. Charlie Brown, you're a block. <laughs> Prescott swings it out to Ajayi, who tries to hold on and does, but he's still going to lose a yard. Imagine the Colts winning this game while Prescott has three interceptions already. I'm not sure that um, that would be fair, but that's the position we look at right now. His favorite target, Cameron Braid, is on the left side of the line. Prescott looking to throw. Dumps it to Ajayi, who comes out of the backfield. Stiff arms a few times and fights his way forward to the 11 for a first down. I don't want to jinx anything, but we haven't dropped even a single frame in five hours of streaming. I hope that continues. Probably won't now that I had actually called attention to it. But here we go. First and 10. They can still get a first down if they get down to the one yard line. But that's going to bring us to the end of the third quarter. So after three, your score is Houston three, Indianapolis 10, and Indianapolis driving. Congrats on the jinx. Oh, yeah, Red. 
I don't need the the newest emote slot, but thanks to Adea, he actually got to the next emote tier, so I can actually get one beyond that now for the bit emotes. Um, but he's also the only one at the tier that he's at. So I'm not going to do the emote for the one beyond that just yet. But we opened up another slot technically. Three yard gain for the Colts, second and seven. Ball at the eight yard line. Ajay offset to the right from Prescott. This one complete to Anderson. Down to the two yard line. That'll be third and one. Can the Texans hold them at least to a field goal or even better can they get their own interception in the end zone and maybe even run it back for six it's happened before we saw philip rivers do it to the cowboys or maybe you should say the cowboys did it to philip rivers texans out in the goal line defense colts out in the eye strong package to the right and oh ho, ho. Oh, that looked close. Barber initially stuffed by like three defenders, bounces off of it. Luckily, there's more defenders behind him to take him down, and the Texans defense does come up with the stop here. J.J. Watt comes up with a big touchdown saving tackle after the guys in front of him fail. On comes the field goal unit. Can the Texans get their own block? Here it comes. There's no block, and it's good. Indianapolis now with a 10-point lead. Houston 3, Indy 13 with 4.18 to go here in the game. Does anybody believe in the Texans? Can anybody tell me the Texans are going to make this comeback? They got 4.18 to go. It's not impossible. Logan fields this one at his own two and a half. He runs it back up to the 25, the 30. No, I lied. That's not even close to the 30. That's the 26. Didn't have emotes for the tier two and three subs. I just I did art for them. Nice. Yeah, I've got uh, the tier two and three slots open obviously because all the other emotes are at the tier one so that's two slots and then the bit emotes we've got the the 1k the 5k the 10k and the 25k and the 50k open now that one thrown by ryan out of bounds caught but not able to get his feet in second and ten snag hard pass on the texans Definitely thinks his team's going to win now after he's been talking shit and he's got a 10-point lead. Now I really hope the Texans come back. Ryan drops back to throw, looks over the middle, hits Miller, and then Miller gets hit and drops it. Oh yeah, Red, while you were gone though. Yo! Adea, thank you so much for gifting the tier one sub to Phoenix. Ryan back to throw, looking, throwing right. This one complete to AJ Green. That'll take him to the Indy 48 as the clock rolls just under four minutes to go. Phoenix, congrats on the sub. And you have access to all five emotes now. Feel free to use those anywhere and everywhere. Here we go, first and 10. Texans don't seem to be in a hurry despite being down by 10 points. He throws left, he's got his man, AJ Green. Oh, I thought he was gonna get to the end zone. This one, a huge completion, another hookup, just like on the top 10 plays last week, except this time AJ Green not fast enough to run away from the defense, but had a few steps on him, and that's a biggie bow. 
Can't believe I dropped that line. Damn you, Jake and Heimer. All right, first and goal for the Texans at the nine yard line. Three minutes to play in the game. AJ Green now with 79 yards on three receptions. Weak eye formation for the Texans. This one, play fake to Cook, throws right, and Gore. Gore runs out of bounds for a loss of one. Oh, I lost a uh, connection to my chat. I didn't even see anything until Red said BRB bio. Did anybody say anything? Hand off to Cook. Cook runs this one for a gain of seven. Uh, let's see. The Autocom bot said something. Adea put some salutes in there. Uh, Phoenix said thank you. I'm looking on my bot because my chat pop out lost connection. Ryan, third and goal, looking over the middle. Oh, 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 oh no. It's complete to Miller again, who drops it again after another big hit. Fourth and goal for the Texans at the three yard line. 2.14 to go. Why not the most valuable trash talker? That's not even a thing. And the Texans are going to settle for a field goal, even though they're at the three-yard line. This time, they actually connect. And with 2.10 to go in the game, the Texans trail by a field goal. Your score, Houston 6, Indianapolis 13. I think I'm back connected now. Someone else say something in chat. Doesn't matter what it is, as long as it's not god-awful stupid. This kickoff fielded out of the end zone. <clears throat> All right, thanks, Adaya. And Snag. God-awful stupid. <laughs> Welcome back, Roddy. Snag, how did you get the emote? Did, uh, is there a channel reward point still on for that? Anyway. Prescott hands off to Ajayi to the right, and he's taken down immediately at the 25-yard line. I actually thought I got rid of that one, so I didn't realize that there was still a channel point reward for that. That's cool, though. Two-minute warning. The Colts with the ball. Second and ten. Modify, then I flipped it. What do you mean you flipped it? Eye formation for the Colts. Tight end to the right side of the line. Hand off to Ajayi. And he's initially met at the line, but he squeaks forward for a gain of four. Third and six, and Houston's going to call their first timeout. Oh, horizontal flip. Oh, okay, so it literally does nothing other for those emotes that are already symmetrical. Got it. I gotcha. Prescott in the gun. Texans need a stop here. Prescott rolling to his right. He needs to come up with a... Oh! Oh, no! The Texans hit him hard, hit him low, and they enforce the fumble, and they get the recovery. Come on, Coach Phoenix. Get your boys back in the game. That's a potential game-altering play right there. The sack, the force fumble, the fumble recovery, all in bounds by number 51 here. That one's a big play. That could go on the highlight reel, possibly. And here comes Matt Ryan and the Texans offense. They need a touchdown this time. Scores 13 to six, less than two minutes to go. Ryan throwing right and it's intercepted. The Texans defense gives them a break. 
And the Colts defense. Well. Matt Ryan is a train wreck. You just got knocked the fuck out. Uh, it's Dak Prescott for the Colts, and it's uh, Matt Ryan for the Texans. Texans had a chance to tie it up there with great field position, and they're not going to get anything. First play from scrimmage, they turn the ball back over. Now the Texans defense has to step up again. Bohannon motioning. Sets up chop on the right side of the line. It's a handoff to Ajayi who is taken down in the backfield for a loss of two and the Texans take their second time out. The Texans can get the ball back with roughly a minute to go if they can come up with a couple of stops. Goatman here is another uh, fan of uh, the Friday movies. High formation. Anderson motioning right to left. Ajay lit up. He's going to lose three more yards. Third and 15 as Houston calls their final timeout. Houston, despite having Matt Ryan, is still not out of this. If the defense gets a key stop right here, they'll get the ball back with one more chance to tie this up. And if they're able to make that happen, this suddenly becomes another game of the week candidate. Eye formation again for the Colts. Delayed handoff to Ajay, who is swallowed up for another three-yard loss. The Texans' run defense has stepped up huge these last two drives. That'll be 4th and 18, and the Colts will punt this one away. The Texans will take over, probably with about 40-something seconds left at this rate. They are going to need a miracle, but it's not impossible. They're still within one score of making this happen. The punt is away, and it's going to go out of bounds at the 37-yard line. So, <laughs> too much to hope for a fumble there too much to hope for Matt Ryan to throw a touchdown at this point but that's what needs to happen Matt Ryan once again with a chance to rewrite the story of his perception in the league empty backfield Ryan back to throw heaves it down the field does he have his man he has Wallace down to the four yard line and Matt Ryan has a chance to rewrite his perception again. Here we go. He's going to spike this one and we're looking at second and goal for the Texans from the four yard line. You know the one. You mean the interception in the end zone? Dial it up, baby. Empty backfield for the Texans. Ryan in the gun, looking right. Has Wallace, who drops it after the hit again. Wallace has dropped every play, or every reception after being touched, as far as I know. I can't remember him coming up with any catches this game. See, they said that was a pass deflection but that went off of Wallace's forearm right there hey what's up JD <laughs> welcome in bud I wasn't sure you'd be here so we already played your game you played a day third and goal Ryan looking throwing touchdown Texans let's go you won in week two against the Saints you had a chance to beat Adea in this one in one of the uh, games of the week so far. And you were down 14-10. You got it down to, I think, the five-yard line. And you couldn't get the ball in the end zone. Uh, it looked like you actually had a touchdown, but he caught it out of bounds with one foot. So you ended up losing 14-10. to 10. 
if the extra point is good and it is we have a tie ball game ladies and gentlemen 25 seconds to go now let's get back on the edge of our seats thanks for the clip goat man interceptions in the end zone is ddfl like people rubbing their shoulders <laughs> just everybody's got sore shoulders in the wov also one reason why you lost jd patrick mahomes went out for the game with an injury but to be fair he hasn't been very good this season he's throw coming into that game he had four touchdowns and nine interceptions so, Jeff Driscoll was your backup quarterback who actually looked pretty good. He almost got you the win, but he didn't quite pull it off. No worries, bud. I'm glad you were able to stop in, though. Prescott under center, hands off to Ajay, who's taken down by Watt. And it looks like we're going to overtime, ladies and gentlemen. The Colts are not even going to try and get that down the field. <laughs> Goat man. Oh, you were saying, of course, when I said thank you. I thought, you, at first, I thought you were saying, like, of course. Like, I'm waiting for my game. Of course this shit's going to overtime. <laughs> Ajay stopped for a loss of one, and we're going to overtime. Ladies and gentlemen, get you some extra football in here. The Texans made this one into the new Game of the Week contender. Big plays from Matt Ryan down the stretch, and Delaney Walker, my boy out there, comes up with the touchdown. So just to update you on the standings in the league, J.D., the only undefeated team is, and it's not rigged because you've all been here, is my team, the Titans. Uh, Petrie was the only other undefeated team coming into last week, but he lost. Um, so, yeah. Looks like the Colts won the toss. They're going to go on offense first. Let's see if the Texans can come up with a come from behind victory here. This is not the first OT game of the season. The first OT game of the season was actually, I think, the first game we played of the season. It was the Ravens versus Bills, and the Ravens won uh, on a two yard run by Alvin Kamara on third and goal. Texans walking the safety up to the line on a blitz. Roll the uh, strong safety over into cover one. This one, a handoff to Ajayi up the middle, and he gashes him for 12. When you're the first pick in a snake draft with 32... The problem is your first pick ain't doing shit. The number one overall pick in the draft ain't doing shit. <laughs> but I was the third pick overall in the uh, snake draft, and I'm 3-0. and I'm taking on another 3-0 team today, though, so we'll see uh, if I stay undefeated. Ajay gets the handoff, and he's going to carry this one forward for a gain of three, second and seven. Well, oh, wait, you actually wanted to take Aaron Donald? I took him. He hasn't done anything for me, but at least he's an anchor on the line. My team's defense is the best in the league at holding teams out of the red zone. Or like holding teams to not converting in the red zone. Ajay with a counter step to the right, and he's lit up by the linebacker. He does come up with a two-yard gain. It'll be third and five. Uh, I'm only allowing 50% of uh, possessions that are in the red zone to score. But my team and my team has one of the highest. We're second as a team in turnover differential. I have eight interceptions. But um, I've only got one sack. Ajay initially has the first down, gets bounced back behind the line, and then is able to come back forward and keep the first down. First and ten for the Colts. Petrie still calling a tie here. I like the close games. It's game of the week material. User versus user. We're in overtime. It would take something huge for this game not to end up as game of the week at this point. Although, again, the Browns and Raiders was a really good one. Two-minute warning. Both teams still have both timeouts. If the Texans can either get a stop or hold them to a field goal, they will get their own chance to go down the field and win this game. 
The only solution is they can't let them in the end zone. Play fake. It's a screen to Anderson, and Anderson's almost more fortunate that he drops that when the clock stops and they don't lose yards. Second and 10 for the Colts. Weak eye formation. Actually, this one's just an offset eye. Hand off to Ajay, who bounces through the tackles. He weaves his way forward for a gain of 13. Initially looked like the Texans had him, but no, they let him go. Texans need to get back to tackling fundamentals out there. Prescott, hand off to Ajay. J.J. Watt takes him down. This one a gain of four, and Ajay is hurt for the second time this season. The only reason I remember that is because the first time he played, I want to say it was the Redskins, where uh, he took the ball and ran backwards and then got hurt on the same play. Doesn't look good for Ajay. He's running back to the locker room to get an x-ray. I don't think we're going to see him back out on the field in this uh, last minute and a half. Prescott in the gun, second and six, running back offset to his right, motioning Brait from right to left across the formation, and the safety drops back into zone coverage. Prescott rolling right, looking right. He's got it to Matthews. That's good down to the Texans' 11. My chat keeps losing connection. Prescott, handoff to Barber. Barber taken down for a loss of one. Barber clearly not the caliber of running back that we had with Ajayi out there. And it doesn't look like this one's going to end well for the Texans after all. There's only a minute to go. Colts have held it the entire overtime period. Prescott looking to throw, looking right, has break. He shakes the first man, but is unable to get around another one. Third and six, the clock's still rolling. Texans still have their timeouts. Kind of surprised they haven't called one. Prescott under center. Drops back. Looking. Rolling. Throwing over the middle. Touchdown, Indianapolis. And that's going to do it for us here in Indianapolis. The Colts managed to still find a way to win. I feel like the finish to that one was anticlimactic. Like, we we got a big, fun game there down the stretch, and then in overtime it was all one-sided. I don't I don't know. I kind of what What do you guys think so far? You do you still think this one because it was overtime is still the leading candidate for game of the week or do you give it to the Browns Raiders who actually did come down to the last few seconds